Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a beauty haul. It's got Milk Cosmetics in there, Alta Beauty, and I'm pretty sure that that is it. So if you want to see what I've been picking up lately, keep on watching. Okay, guys, let me tell you, I picked up some things from um, Melt Cosmetics, and I think I only have like one or two things from them prior because it was like during one of the like the gift sets that Sephora would have around the holidays that I ended up getting it from. So I actually went on the website this time and made a couple purchases. Um, I do have a couple more things come in that I want to try a couple more lipsticks from them because I did have the one, like I said, from Sephora, and I loved it so much. One of these out of this little warm nude palette I have on my lips today, and I do believe it is sun here. I'm going to have to double check, but yeah, so it looks like this. I don't have a product in here. They were like hella strong getting out of here, you guys, just pre warning you in case you ordered it, but these are really hard to get out of here, so I took them out prior so we didn't have to sit here all day. Um, I think I'm going to go in with this one and show you guys what color this one is. And this one is, it looks like Sassy. It's a very, very pretty color. These are almost like, all of them almost run like the exact same, just like off like a little tone, like maybe a little deeper, a little lighter. This one looks like, let me see, it's really hard to see that. Um, I think this one is Shameless or Undercover. I honestly cannot see it. Look how tiny that writing is on there, you guys. So this is one of the two. And this one, no wait, wait, this is the one I have on my lips. Okay, so this is the one I'm wearing. It's pretty, isn't it? Um, it looks a little bit different, like darker shade on my lips just because my lips are so pigment. Like, they are hella pigment, you guys. Like, underneath here, it looks like I have lip, 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 lipstick on. No joke. Okay, this one is Shameless. I think this one is Shameless or was it the other one? One of these two, you guys, one is Shameless and one is Undercover. And the names are so tiny that I cannot really see them, so we're just gonna go with one or the other. Either way, you guys, if you order this little pack, you guys are gonna get them, all of them, so it doesn't really matter, and then you guys can order the full size if they have them, which I'm not sure if they do, because I only seen them in the little warms nudes that I'm showing you guys. And this one is called Suntan, and this is the last one out of the bunch. You only get four. Oh wait, you get five, I'm missing one. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Okay, got it. So this is, I did not know that. I did not know I was missing one. I might have worn this one. It's almost, see what I mean though? It's like almost the same color. This one looks a little darker than the one I have on, like it just like a smidge of a shade and maybe just a little bit different undertone, but almost like they all almost look the same. That's a really cute palette. The next thing I wanna show you guys is another lip product that I got from them. And this is the Liquid Set. Um, what color is this? Backslash. I didn't even realize that was the name of it until I just looked at it for you guys. But here's the packaging that comes in. It's so cute. It has little lips on it, which I love. I'm a big fan of anything like that. Um, and it looked a little bit different online. I wasn't expecting it to be this bold. Here's what the packaging looks like. You guys, you guys, this is some bright color. Look at that. You guys see that? Oh my goodness. I don't know. I almost start to wear it today, but I was like, no, I'm gonna go with something lighter. But that is really, really bright, you guys. But it's all in all, I think it's gonna work out for me. Um, the next thing that I have here is, this is the Gun Metal Stack. And oh my gosh, you guys, the photo online just really got me. These are kind of like unique colors to me. I don't have anything, I don't think, in my collection. And they just come like this, and they are magnetized, like little stackable, so you get your little mirror. There's the first color. I'm gonna put that back on there so that doesn't get broken. And you just keep on doing this. There is the other color. The other one. And the very last one on the end. I think the two last ones on the end, in my opinion, kind of, let me put this down here, I'll show you. Kind of look very, very similar. Well, on camera it doesn't, but in person it does. This one looks like more blue, gray undertone, and that looks like more black or purple undertone. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's how I feel about it. That one is not like, there we go. It didn't want to go back together at first. I'm not even joking. Okay, so the next one that we have is the Haystack. Haze. I love the packaging with this, you guys. I love how they're like magnetic and they can stick together. And it just looks like the typical melt packaging. And once again, you're going to get the mirror. And then, I don't know why I did that. And then that is that. It's like a pretty silver. You see that? very pretty 
This is the unique color that I was talking about. I thought it was in the other one, but I don't think I have anything like this. I know I don't have anything in those colors. That one is gorgeous. And this is my favorite. This is what caught my eye. This one and like the yellow gold one. Look at how gorgeous that is. No. Oh. It's so pretty. You guys overlook my nails. I really need to do them, but I haven't gotten around to it. So that is the haystack, and this one is the metallic stack. And I'm very happy with all of that. So that is it for the Melt Cosmetics. Now we're going to move over to Ulta. I'm going to have to keep putting down, you guys, because all my stuff is over here on this table. So we'll do hair care first. How about that? Um, the first thing I got, and I, I really messed up because I was going to get a treatment for my hair. So I thought, okay, I'll just pick up the shampoo and then I'll have the treatment, right? No, I end up like a dummy taking out my shampoo out of my car. So I ended up with two conditioners. One is a treatment, one is a conditioner. I still did. And this is the Hask. And this is just a smoothing conditioner. It softens, renews, it says. It's a keratin protein. I have not tried this one yet, but I'm really excited to. I actually want to go back and get the shampoo. This stuff smells so, so good. And I do think that this is on the more cleaner side at Ulta too. I'm pretty sure that it is. One thing that caught me, I don't know if this one is exactly, I have to look it up, but there was one that I've been using for years. It smelled like citrus. And the one thing that caught me about that is that it was gluten-free, which is really important to me because I don't want anything like running it on my face that has gluten in it, but, um, cause I am gluten-free you guys. Um, here's the treatment that I got that I thought I was going to get the shampoo with, but I didn't. Um, this is, um, I don't know how you guys would pronounce that name. I am horrible. A pronunciation but I will link it down below um, it is a keratin and tr intensive treatment uh, it says enrich and repair my hair was so out of place you guys that I use this for the second time first time I wasn't impressed I was like almost gonna take it back and then something told me let's do it again so when I did it last night I was so impressed with how my hair turned out today I am freaking stoked I love this stuff I only used it twice and I'm sold on I think this is like $30 at Ulta online I don't know if they carry it in store but I do no, wait, 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 they did because I ended up ordering online and picking up a store. So they do have this in store. But it is really good. It smells really good. Let me see if I can describe the smell. I can't. I'm horrible. I almost feel like it's like lemonish with florals. I don't know. But this is really good, you guys. So my hair is like really dried. It is damaged, overly processed. And that made this look like this. It's always really frizzy. I know if you guys have been with me for a while, you always hear me complain about all the frizz in my hair. And that product mixed with the product I'm about to show you is freaking fantastic. So this is a new product. I haven't seen it before until I went over there the other day at Ulta. It is Rickin Fifth Avenue. It is the Frizz Dismiss Shampoo. And I really like this. It makes your hair smell good, feel really clean, and it did help with the frizz. I think in conjunction, the two products, that one with this one, made a big difference on my hair. I don't have a lot of frizz. There's like a few pieces up here, but nothing to write home about. Like I don't even really care because my hair is so tamed and feels soft and nice, which is what I wanted. This is what I've been wanting. So I'm so glad that I picked up those products. Um, the next thing I have here, this is a disappointment to me. And to be honest, I'm going to take it back. It is the T a Tree Hunt Lavender. It's the Sea Sugar Scrub. I do like the, I think I have, I think it's Coco Colada, I think it's called. I'm not real sure. But I do love that one. This one here, I thought it was going to be so good because it was lavender. And you guys, it almost smells like a cleaning product, almost like a limiting cleaning product, which is not what I expected. I want it to smell straight up lavender, and it doesn't. It reminds me of something, and I know I used to clean with it, but I don't know if it's just me. I don't smell the lavender in there, so to be honest, this is gonna go back. I might switch it or just return it, I don't know, but it's definitely going back because I'm not happy with it. I really don't care for the way it smells, so I don't wanna keep it. I haven't used it, by the way, it's brand new, so. The next thing I got, I kinda like wanna keep my hair up or out of my way, cause like my hair is always down or, you know, just put it up, and I found these, and I think these were 12 bucks at Ulta. They're just so cute, let's see if you guys can see trying not to get the light to hit it so much, but it's so hard. There we go. Those are like little rhinestones in there, are so cute. And then you have like the little pearls and then the two nudie clouds right there. They're gonna be so, so cute. I have been looking for something like this for the longest time and I seen those online when I was looking and I was like, I have to get those. So we end up picking up those. Um, the next thing that I picked up from Alta is this 35D Desert, um, lost my train of thought again, you guys. The Desert 
Bouquet, there we go. 35D Desert Bouquet Palette by Morphe. This really caught my eye, and something else that caught my eye is it was so inexpensive compared to like some of the bigger palettes. And this palette isn't very small, you know what I'm saying? It's like a pretty decent sized palette. And it was only $26, but with a coupon from Ulta, like if you spend so much and you get like $350 off, it was only $24 and some change. So, you guys ready? I'm gonna show you the inside. It looks just like the box. So pretty on the inside, you guys. Look at how pretty those are. Actually, let me move that out of the way. It's a final place to put it. We'll put it over there. But look at how pretty those are. I have this one all over my lid and a little bit of this one. Is that right? No, this one in my crease. So this one a little bit in my crease and that one all over my lid. They are so pretty. There's like one or two more palettes that I want to get that they have in that size. Um, one of them has a lot of turquoise in them. Hold on. This hair is getting on my nerves. It's like right up in my earring. Um, there's a couple more that I want to get. One of them is like a turquoise, and then there's like a little bitty mini with like nudie colors in it that I really want to get. So, so pretty. Um, the next thing is not from Ulta, but I wanted to show you guys because it's a really good, um, and I haven't even opened it yet, um, really good thing. And like if you're into like costume makeup or you want to do like Halloween makeup, which is really cool. It comes with the brushes, so you don't have to worry about buying brushes. And it is this beautiful palette right here. And it has a bunch of different shades in there too. I think I'm gonna have to take a minute to try to open this because I haven't even opened it yet. Hold on, let me open this. Okay, so I got that open. It comes with like this little thing. I think this is the, the one that sells it on Amazon. It's called You Can Be. And it has this like little Instagram information on there. And I guess they have like other palettes too that you can buy from them. But here's what the palette looks like, you guys. I am like extremely stoked on this. Let me open this up for you without trying to make a mess and let you guys see what's inside. Let's put this somewhere else. So I have all of these colors right here. I think it was a lot, it's so hot in here, you guys, it's starting to like run off a little bit. But that gold shade right here is life. You see that? It's so, so pretty. I have wanted this for some time now, let me tell you. Oh my gosh, the oil is like literally coming out. I'm gonna have to put this in the fridge or something. It's like the little, it's legit leaking out. So that's what that looks like. Okay, you guys, really long haul, I know, but that is it, we have come to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys have been picking up makeup wise or skincare wise lately. And yeah, until next time, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, give it a thumbs up. So yeah, see you later. In, in, tune. In, in, tune. In, in, tune.